Early the following year, National Comics, success with the seminal superhero Superman in action comics prompted editors to scramble for similar heroes. In response, Kane conceived the Batman. Finger recalled Kane had an idea for a character called Batman, and he'd like me to see the drawings. I went over to Kane's, and he had drawn a character who looked very much like Superman with kind of reddish tights, I believe, with boots, no gloves, no gauntlets with a small domino mask, swinging on the rope. He had two stiff wings that were sticking out, looking like bat wings. And under it was a big sign that said Batman. Finger offered such suggestions as giving the character a cowl instead of the domino mask, a cape instead of wings, adding gloves, and removing the red sections from the original costume. He later said his suggestions were influenced by Lee Fox Popular The Phantom, a syndicated newspaper comic strip character with which Kane was also familiar, and that he devised the name Bruce Wayne for the character's secret identity. Finger said, Bruce Wayne's first name came from Robert Bruce, the Scottish patriot. Wayne, being a playboy, was a man of gentry. I searched for a name that would suggest colonialism. I tried Adams, Hancock, then I thought of Mad Anthony Wayne. Kane decades later in his autobiography described Finger as a contributing force on Batman right from the beginning. I made Batman a superhero vigilante when I first created him. Bill turned him into a scientific detective. Nobleman said, Bob Kane showed Batman to editor Vince Sullivan without Bill. Vin promptly wanted to run Batman, and Bob negotiated a deal without including Bill. Finger wrote both the initial script for Batman's debut in Detective Comics issue 27 in May 1939 and the character's second appearance, while Kane provided art. Batman proved a breakout hit, and Finger went on to write many of the early Batman stories, including making major contributions to the Joker character. Batman background artist and letterer George Russo's recalled, What was good about Bill was that whenever he wrote a plot, he did a lot of research for it. Whether the setting was a railroad station or a factory, he would find a photo reference, usually from National Geographic, and give Bob all the research to draw from. He was very orderly and methodical. His only problem was that he couldn't sustain the work, he couldn't produce material regularly enough.